Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wild Wednesday, where we share words of wisdom. Today, we have an interesting topic. And the topic that we're going to share today is don't feel pressured to conform to an image, an entity, a person. Don't feel pressured to do that. Don't feel intimidated to conform to an image that someone is trying to project onto you. Um, because sometimes people make you feel less of who you are because they're always seeking out to compare. You know, I don't know what it is about people. Uh, instead of just accepting individuals for who they are, because everyone has their own unique abilities. Everyone has something different that they would bring to the table. But I don't know what it is about comparison that causes people to uh, feel intimidated you know the result of that the, the result of a conversation of someone who may be comparing someone with another person will cause the person who's coming on the scene to feel like they have to uh fall in that person's footsteps so they have to become that person when actually what they came to bring to the table was something like i said totally different what they brought to the business was something totally different. Janet may be gone. And Etna has replaced Janet. But Etna is not Janet. You feel what I'm saying? Etna is not Janet. But Etna has brought in some qualities that Janet may not have brought in. Are, are, are we to say one is greater than the other? We, we dare not try to do that. But people, they often compare and they do that. You know, sometimes they do it without thinking about it. I'm going to give you a prime example. There was a um, one of the, um, I'm working in the school system. And so um, one of the self-contained teachers, I went into the room working with one of the students. And she asked me about a person, another therapist. And so... You know, I told her, I said, well, I don't think I know, but I know that name. And so she showed me a picture of the, of the person. And I told her, I, I said, yes, we worked summer school together. And so she began to go on and on about how wonderful she was and, you know, how she did this. She implemented that. She did it. So she just went on and on and on. All the while, on the back end, I, I, I felt like she was making comparisons and so sometimes people, when they don't understand who you are and what your purpose is and what you're bringing to the table, they will minimize that. They will deduce that. They will make you feel like you're incompetent. They will make you feel like you didn't, you didn't acquire a degree. You know, you, you didn't receive any training. You don't, you don't have the, 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 that spark, that fire, you know, that, that drive that you, you don't have the ability like the other person does or did, you know? And so, you know, you got to get to a place uh, in your um, confidence level. You got to get to a place where you look at yourself and say, look, I am not the person that was, that was here before I came. I am not that person. My name is such and so-and-so. So in my, in my, um, Example, you know, I would say to myself, you know, I'm Kalia, you know, and Kalia is not Edna, Kalia is not Janet, Kalia is not Melissa, Kalia is not Angel, Kalia is who she is, you know, and you're gonna have to accept me for who I am because I'm not changing because you think that I'm supposed to act like another individual, and we should not do that. And like I said, a lot of times we go. And we compare, we make comparisons and we think that if a person doesn't do it, do it a certain way, then they, they, they're just not competent enough or they just don't have it. And that is not fair because you didn't give that person a chance. You didn't give that person a chance to present who they really are, you know, and you know, it only takes one person and I'm, I'm just going to say it. A lot of times it only takes that one person to say something 
and throw it out there as if it was something so innocent, but there was some undertones with it, you know, and you can, you can read people and sometimes you can feed off of what people are actually uh, thinking about you without them even saying it, you know, but we should not feel pressured. We should not feel intimidated. We should stand up, be bold, be confident in who God has called us to be and just walk in whatever it, you know, whatever he has called us into. You know who you are. You know your capabilities. You know some areas where you need to strengthen. You know some areas where, hey, you are very competent and you know, you know yourself. You, you, you know how you flow, you know. And so you, you get into these types of situations because they're coming. If they haven't met you at the door, if they haven't confronted you um, yet, they're coming, you know, because it only takes, like I said, one person and that one person will try to undercut you undermine you and they will try to throw in a curveball that you did not recognize you know and sometimes like like i said when you're doing making comparisons and when you're saying things to people you don't know where they are you don't know if they may have had some type of uh, vulnerability towards a certain uh, area of expertise you don't know if they're struggling with something or if they're dealing with things uh, at home or, or dealing with their own confidence level, you know. So we do have to be, comp- we do have to be very careful and discerning. That's what I, that, that's what I want to throw out there. We have to be very careful and discerning uh, when it comes to people because we don't want to make those, those types of comparisons because then, you know, you don't know what you have projected onto someone else. And you don't know how you made that person feel. And then a lot of times people will draw away from you when you throw out those little innuendos, when you throw out those little catchy words, or you know, like those little undertones, undercurrents, you know, um, and trying to, I don't know, it's, it's sometimes you just don't know people's intentions and you don't know where they're going with what they're saying, but. You you always know that when you're coming on the scene, whether it's on on a on a job, whether it's in a business, maybe your business, maybe maybe in ministry, maybe um you know replacing. And I'm not gonna even, and I guess you can't say replacing because someone has stepped down for whatever reasons. If they had uh, death in the family and they decided they didn't want to pursue that position anymore or if you know change of environment or moving away or having a baby all life happens to people they step down from different positions but when a new person comes aboard you know you embrace that person and not look at them as the replacement of the person that left because there'll never be another Sonia, you know, there'll never be another Janet or there'll never be another Edna. So when that person comes on the scene, you just accept who they are and what they bring to the table. We are not in positions and we should, no, I'm going to say this. We should not be in positions where we're pressuring people to conform to the previous person that was in that position, whether we're trying to intimidate them. Well, you know, such a so-and-so did it like this. You know, or we're trying to conform them to the the image of that person because we miss them so much and we want them to act like the person that left. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. We should accept and embrace originality. We should accept and embrace people for who they are and go with the flow. You know, things change. Positions Of course, they come and go. You know, people come and go from positions. You know, uh, uh, Bill or uh, Michael may have been there for 15 years, but Michael, at some point, he may retire. Then that will open up the door for someone else to step into that position. But don't think the person that's stepping up into that position is supposed to be like Michael. you're You're doing yourself a huge disservice. Because who wants to feel Michael's shoes? Nobody wants to feel Michael's shoes because you have to embrace your own ability. You got to embrace you. And maybe Michael has taken it, taken the business as far as he could take it. 
And maybe it was time for Michael to step down. Maybe, maybe Michael just saw the rainbow at the end and, and he just said, okay, this is it. You know, I'm going to pull out before, you know, I really start feeling some kind of way. But you got to allow people to do that. But like I said, we can't pressure folk. New people that come in in the positions that old, old, old people had. You know, the previous person was um, just in the books as that was the person before the new person came in. Now, we got to get a new person a chance to be who they are. We're not working with carbon copies. We don't want copies. We want originals. We want originals. So this is our Wild Wednesday for today. I just kind of threw this out here because, I, you know, I do understand people and they, they sometimes they can be um, sincerely, uh, you know, not trying to hurt nobody's feelings or anything like that. But you have to be careful with that. You have to be discerning to know that. Uh, when you're making those comparisons and when you're trying to pressure somebody into being some someone who you miss or who you feel like was the best thing since sliced bread or, you know, when you're making those comparisons, you're not giving that person a chance, like I said, to be who they are. Because there are there are many pastors out there. Every pastor is not going to lead the same way. There are many prophets out there. There are many business minded people out there. There are many superintendents out there. You know, it's just no one person in a position is going to operate the same exact way. We are not robots people. We are not robots. We, we are not plugging ourselves in places and trying to be like the person that just previously left the position. We, we, we're, not, we're not to do that. Because we, we are not to emulate anyone. We conform to the image of Christ. And what Christ has put in us is some, you, something unique. Our own uh, uh, specific DNA. You know, nobody can replicate. Because God is the only one who knows how to create life. Human life. Man tries to duplicate it. He tries to find different ways to, to crossbreed all this stuff. But only God knows how to do that. He knows how to he, he knows how to multiply. He knows how to breathe into us and we become living souls. So this is our Wild Wednesday, you all. I'm so sorry that it was so long, but I just wanted to just kind of throw that out there because somebody may be going through this, you know. But I want to encourage you to let you know that you are who God says that you are. And God made you special. He made you unique. He made you like no other. You should not make a comparison with anybody else. You should not feel devalued. You should not feel minimize you 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 should not self-deprecate but you should you should step up and be confident in who God has called you to be you know you should do that so God bless you love you we will be back again for another while Wednesday you all okay bye-bye